The Soyuz TMA-10 will be launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. The space capsule will take two Russian cosmonauts and a U.S. software engineer to the International Space Station. Veteran Russian cosmonaut Fyodor Yurshikin will command Expedition 15 on the ISS, while flight engineer Oleg Kotov will serve as Soyuz commander for the upcoming flight. Yurshikin and Kotov will join NASA astronaut Sunita Williams on the ISS, who will continue to work until her return aboard a space shuttle this summer. The three Soyuz crew members have been trained in Star City, Russia, at the Yuri Gagarin Space Training Center. The Hungarian-born Simonye plans to conduct scientific experiments in orbit. For his medical experiments, he will carry an instrument developed in Hungary to study the effects of radiation on humans. The 15th crew to fly to the space station passed the qualifying examination with top marks. Kotov told journalists that Simonye is well prepared for the flight. During his pre-flight preparations, Simonye made many friends among space scientists and astronauts. I invited some of the uh, instructors from Star City to, to show the materials and see what the instruction is like, and I turned out that I enjoyed it so much. Bertolon Farkas, the first Hungarian astronaut, accompanied him to his training in Russia. I have met Mr. Simonier several times, and I felt that he has the very same thoughts we had before our flight, that this is the highlight of his life, something incomprehensible, and he would do anything for it. Simonier is not only a computer engineer and aviator, but also an active philanthropist. His funds support the arts, science, and libraries. He grew up in an academic environment. His father, a university professor, had an extensive library. Not just textbooks, but for example, the great Soviet encyclopedia in, in 50 volumes, which is a, a fantastic word, work. And uh, we also had the children's encyclopedia in, in 10 volumes, uh, also very interesting. Because of his attachment to the arts and literature, Simonier will carry books to the ISS, saying libraries should be everywhere where humans are. Besides Goethe's Faust, he plans to take The Moon is a Harsh Mistress by science fiction writer Robert A. Heinlein. The book seems an appropriate choice since U.S. companies are planning to take private citizens around the moon in this decade. Simonier told the media that he would be taking a 43-year-old computer tape with him to the space station. I have a, a good budget to, to take things with me, books and, and other things in terms of weight budget. But uh, I, I just like to mention I'm taking a, a computer tape for, for a Russian computer, Ural 2, that I was programming in, in 1964, and I still keep the, the paper tape in my safe, and I'm, I'm taking one of those paper tapes with me and, uh, uh, to remind me of where it all started. The 58-year-old software engineer, a co-founder of Microsoft Corporation, now heads Intentional Software Corporation. His company works on a new encoding software that will operate in the same way that people think, revolutionizing programming. After eight days on the ISS, the fifth space tourist is scheduled to return to Earth on the Soyuz spaceship on April 19th with Michael Lopez Alegria, the current U.S. commander of the ISS, and Mikhail Churian, a Russian cosmonaut. Jim Bertel, VOA News.